What is a foolproof way to store your NFTs as an NFT creator? Let's talk about it. Hi guys, I just wanted to jump on real quick and include you in an interesting conversation we're having in the Wax Telegram channel right now. I'll include a link down below. A senior developer that works in enterprises watched our last tutorial on how to create and mint NFTs on the blockchain, and he brought up a very interesting point. What happens if Pinata goes down? So I included Jonah, the co-creator of Atomic Assets in the conversation, and this is what they had to say. Okay, so Bruce B said, interesting. You're storing your images on Pinata, but what happens if, most likely when, if nothing exists forever, Pinata closes down? I responded, hey Bruce, really interesting comment. I'm tagging Jonah, one of the creators of Atomic Hub in this conversation. I used IPFS originally and then used pinata.cloud. If you check out Pinata, they host most of the NFTs on Rarible. So I would hope that they use IPFS in a way that is not really reliable on the website itself, but I'm not a dev. So I'm interested on what Jonah may have to say. Bruce B responded, I am a dev. So the first thing I think about is what could go wrong. Sites disappear all the time. I do enterprise development. So one thing we always think about is disaster recovery and data backups. Just having a single copy of anything is very dangerous. So Jonah jumped in and responded, in this case, the images could be lost. However, with the way IPFS works, anyone could decide to pin the images as well, like on their own server. So if you own an NFT and want to make sure that the image never disappears, simply pin it yourself. And as long as you do that, it will be available and verifiable for everyone. Bruce B responded, thanks. Jenna went on to say, so IPFS itself can't guarantee permanent storage, but IPFS allows anyone to guarantee it for themselves in a decentralized way. And decentralization is what blockchain's all about, guys. Bruce B responded, this is actually something all NFT creators should know. Jonah said, pinata.cloud is an IPFS service. What they do is to ensure that the file remains available. But even if they stop doing that for whatever reason, anyone else could also decide to keep the images penned in their own IPFS nodes or using other IPS services. Bruce B said, right, but I would think that not everyone would think about this having backups. And that's why we're doing this video. He went on to say, a lot of the reasons why senior developers are senior is because they've already run into the problems others haven't. I have a link for the Telegram down below. I have a link for uh, pinata.cloud down below so you can learn more about that platform. And I also have a link for an IPFS service that I use. Um, I'm open to in your comments what you use or what you suggest. And yeah, so let us know what you think. There you go. So I hope you learned a lot from this conversation. Conversations in Telegram get lost all the time. So I felt this was very important to add to this uh, tutorial. So people that are creating NFTs do not have possible loss of assets in the future. And if you liked this content, please like and subscribe, leave a comment of other things you might want us to cover. And please continue to have conversations like this because we learn through other people's experience. And, and I appreciate your time. And as always, wax on.